Okay, so now that we have a working Ubuntu machine, let me log in. The uh, next command is, oh, it already tells us there are packages to be updated. So this basically has updates. Well, let's go ahead and install them. First off, let's do a sudo apt-get update. Basically, that checks for, oh, it's asked for my password. And it, that checks the, uh, the update locations to make sure that they're all up to date, that it's checking all the right sources for software updates. Make sure none of them change or anything like that. They probably haven't, but uh, it's always good to check anyway. That was a sudo apt-get update. apt-get is a package manager, which we'll uh, install. And let's do a sudo apt-get upgrade. And then that'll upgrade all the software. So it says there's uh, 29 software to be upgraded. Uh, zero newly installed, zero to remove, two not upgraded, and you can see this is the list. The following packages will be upgraded, and it'll show what's been held back and what needs to be upgraded. So just yes, why, enter. Know that this is going to take some extra space on the hard drive. All right, so you don't need to watch a progress bar. Let's go ahead and pause this. The reason why you see apt a lot is um, because apt Ubuntu is Debian based and uh, apt is the program to update so that's why you get apt git or synaptic or uh, aptitude they all have apt in there it's also a Debian based so that's why later on we'll have a uh, deb file, dot deb file that we're going to use. Debian is spelled uh, D-E-B-I-A-N, -E not M. Alright, enough tutorial. Alright, so we've gotten all of our packages. The next thing I want to do is change the IP address. So I'm going to do a cd slash etsy slash network. That'll change the folder. Um, Linux doesn't have letters like um, like Windows would. Everything's in the folder, even the CD-ROM and uh, multiple hard drives. So there we go. Now we're in the network folder. So when they say go to the root drive, you can actually see where I'm located at right here, Etsy slash network. And uh, there's my username, Technological, at UbuServe. So my name at this computer and the folder that I'm currently in. If you never know which folder you're in, you can just do a PWD, Present Working Directory. All right, so uh, it's probably not what it stands for, but it's what works for me. All right, so let's uh, change the uh, interfaces. So sudo vim. Again, we're going to use this text editor. Interfaces. All right, so there we go. Oh, screen's not updating properly. Now we hit the insert key and erase this line because we're going to go for a static IP address. And you don't have to, but I'm going to erase it anyway because it's in my text. Paste. Now, your IP address is probably going to be different. I don't know. You'll have to know how your network's done to uh, to know. But I know 250 is high enough on my network that I don't have to worry about it. One problem is it does come with uh, as gibberish. So, auto F0 I face F0 inet static. Here's your IP address. Your subnet mask. Network ID. Broadcast address. Gateway. And I have two DNS servers. So let's go ahead and write that. Oop, forgot to hit escape first. Hit escape. Colon W. 
Good. All right, if you have IPv6, you can also modify this file as well. And again, you're going to need to know what your, let me hit insert and get back in. You're going to need to know what your network's built like. So uh, IPv6 looks like this. Of course, I'm in the States, so I don't have IPv6. So that means I don't have to worry about this. So I'm going to hit escape and Q, colon Q. Of course, it gives me a message that I didn't save this. So I'm going to overwrite that with an exclamation. And it won't write. It'll just quit. Now we need to restart networking by doing a sudo if config eth zero up sudo if config f zero. Oh, sorry, down. Should have put it down first. Hmm, doesn't like that. Let's just use a uh, inet d sudo etc inet dot d networking restart. Yeah, doesn't like it, but it works. Because if I do an if config, you can see my IP address right there. 192.168.1.250. Broadcast, mask, INET address. Um, let me pull down Firefox. Yep, page works. Awesome. That's the default page for uh, Linux. I'm actually going to move that. So uh, when I reload this Firefox must be caching it. Probably is. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's enough for this video. On the uh, next video, we're actually going to use Putty to uh, do some things.